Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share with you all the brand new tonic craft kit and this one is called Harvest Moon Affections. So basically it's going to be like a taster of the new trend which is Harvest Moon which is going to be coming out very soon. So this um, kit will be a taster of that and of course you're going to have some yummy dyes and um, stamps. So let's get into it. This is how your kit will come in a beautiful box which coordinates really well with everything that's in there. You're going to get a bag of Nouveau products products in this beautiful grey bag. This particular kit also comes with its um, binder so every um, third kit you get a binder and then you have a little folder inside which contains your dies and stamps and straight away I can see my Harvest Moon 6x6 and this here this folder holds the craft perfect which is the papers and cards from tonic studios so let me move my box out of the way and i will show you everything that's inside so here is everything i will start by showing the papers first um and these are all a4 papers and cards that are from the harvest moon collection and you can see the color straight away it's beautiful muted tones autumnal i would say but rustic at the same time really really beautiful so i'm going to go through these with you quickly and um, this one is a craft perfect which is a double-sided tonic studios um most popular weaved textured cardstock and this one is called ginger pie and like i said it is double-sided the next one i have here is a beautiful handmade paper and this is called a royal garnet and you can see these um, embossed details of these hexagons and then the reverse is like this this beautiful um, almost like a bronzy gold card I've got all the names besides you that's why I'm looking back to see what they're called this one's called Sienna Sienna treasure and <clears throat> it's 230 gsm and all the cards and papers i'm showing you they are available from tonic studios as full packs if they're not available right now they will be available very soon and this one is white on the back next one is this brushed satin effect and this one is called baroque rose beautiful beautiful color and my son is playing games with me right now <laughs> So just bear with me. Um, this one is a beautiful, beautiful glitter card. This glitter card, well, all Tonic Studio glitter card is beautifully made. It's It doesn't shed. You don't get glitter everywhere. And they're just perfect quality for your paper crafts. And this one is called Welsh Gold. Then here is another Craft Perfect. And this is that slight weave texture classic card. And this one is called Candy Red. Then this one here is called Copper Mine. And again, it's a satin effect card. And it's white on the back. And then the final one, which I believe I've got the name for here somewhere. And I don't, I'm afraid, I don't think. <clears throat> I don't have the name for this one, but I'll put it in the description box. But again, it's a beautiful satin board in this amazing pearly mink kind of a colour. So these are all my cards and papers in the A4. And again, I'm just going to fan it out so you can see how beautiful everything just works together. Okay, and then staying on to the papers and cards, um, I've got the 6x6 Harvest Moon paper pad and it's a pattern paper pad all double sided and these are the designs that you get inside and there's 24 sheets okay so let's just put that here <clears throat> next I will go on to my Nouveau products so all your Nouveau products come in a separate bag like this and oh my goodness there's a lot of full size products in here today so the first thing I've got here is some Craft Perfect Crafters Ribbon, beautiful maroon organza ribbon, perfect colour coordination. And then this one is Midsummer Gold Pure Sheen Glitter and it's a full bottle, beautiful, beautiful. And I think Tonic Studios do this the best with 
their kits how they just put everything together and everything just goes perfect with everything else you also get a um, hybrid ink pad and this one is called rumba red okay and then this one here is called autumn blaze pure sheen sequins and it's beautiful fiery bronze color so that's a full size item here i've got <coughs> excuse me a little jar of embossing powder and this one is called medici crimson i hope i pronounced that right so this is just a taste of some embossing powder this will be available in a full jar if you like it then here i have some glacier paste and this one is called uh, frosted birch really beautiful pearly kind of a color really really gorgeous in fact it's the perfect color um, it matches this so it's a really nice um color there so that's that i've also got let me just put this there so it doesn't roll away <clears throat> i've also got a marker this is called golden honey and these are glitter markers and i love using these and here is the color and basically with these to get them activated you just give it a shake push the nib up and down until the color appears and then you're good to go and use them okay so that's my glitter marker and then the final product in the nouveau selection that i've got in my kit is this crystal drop in this beautiful color malted milk oh my gosh that's such a gorgeous color and the crystal drops basically they dry very glossy and beautiful so i love this color actually and then i'm gonna move all this to the side and get the dies out so here is my beautiful folder and inside i have my binder so i think i said every third kit i think that actually is every fourth kit you get this um folder to put these in um and then inside here you have your full kit so i've got my harvest moon affection sticker which i usually put on the front of these so i know which um kit it is and um, this is the stamp sheet which i'll show you in a second these are the dies so there is a lot of dies in this let me show you like this so this looks like um a panel die almost like a collage die i don't know why collage just came to my mind because it's just like collaged within the actual large die and they all look like different sentiments that you can cut out or you can actually stamp on with the stamps so this huge piece here is one large die and then you get all these other little bits that you can actually cut into your card or cut a different section out and then um use your sentiments or whatever you like in fact this would look really nice to put photos in as well i think so really really nice unique design there and then you get sentiments some designs there's and there's hearts there's um, XOXO, I think that says for you probably, and then a few different designs here. And if that wasn't enough, you get more dies to go on top of these or work alongside. So you can see these designs actually correspond quite well to this. And then you get more sentiments, more pretty little designs like hearts in different um, sizes and shapes. Um, this one I think says just for you and um, this says i think it says love and then your stamp sheet here has got all these sentiments that you can incorporate into your design and use alongside this so if you didn't want to use the die and you can use a stamped and you can use lots of love in here you can just use all these instead of dies or mix and match them so your stamps say for someone special sweet little moments hello my friend you make me smile hugs and kisses lots of love a gift and time to celebrate you and me xoxos friends family love making memories good times smile always you and me 
so a lot of stamps here and a lot of different sayings you don't have to always use them with your kids i would definitely use these on many many other projects and cards so what i'm going to do now is put all this aside and create a couple of cards with you all okay so here i have my first card ready to go i've created a card base using that large um shadow die and this has just been offset on a card blank with a spine on the top so i've offset it to leave my spine intact <clears throat> if i can show you the right way this way around so um the spine is uncut which leaves me with a card blank and now because i've got this bit uncut i do need another piece of card because i'll be using the embossed um handmade paper for this so i've got another piece here that's gonna finish off the design on the top or where it's been cut here um and then with this section here you can cut out this piece here ready for your collaging so it's a really really nice um design you can cut this and obviously stamp onto it i've actually got all my layers cut and then for this particular card i'll just be using my die cut sentiments and um using that as my decorative element and for my second card i've used some of the stamps so let's get cracking and start off with this card
so that finishes my first card i'm going to keep it as it is it's really nice simple and elegant and it's a beautiful shaped card so i can add my sentiment here in fact if i wanted i could just use one of the papers and add it in the center which i might do um but you can see how i've used the die cut elements and just sort of filled it out really really fun way to create a card it's like almost putting a jigsaw puzzle together now i've cut the die cut pieces and put them in you can easily leave these um apertures blank and put embellishments in you can put photos behind these you can just do so much with them because you get all these extra dies that cut out that shape so you can cut photos and add them in there so that's how i'm going to leave the first card i have got another one made here which have used um, some of the stamps and again all the um, cards that I've used for the decorative elements are from the kit the only thing I haven't used that's from the kit is the card base for this one which is 5 by 7 and then the white card for this one um, but everything else is in the kit so this one I've used some stamps to create some sentiments on the card and i've just popped the whole thing up so you get some shadows behind these little um apertures and then i've added a bow with the ribbon that's also in the kit and i've stamped some hearts using the heart stamp from the stamp sheet and also using the rumba red ink pad so really really beautiful simple cards but they're so effective they're so different to look at i've also added some drops on this one using the crystal drop which is in the kit i just thought it added a bit of interest and it came out really really adorable so you can see the very very unique cards um it's so much fun i've used exactly what's in the kit definitely um use your imagination use photos use embellishments you can fill these out with whatever you like but you've got the option to use your dies and your stamps with these so i hope i've inspired you to create some cards with your kit don't forget to check out the links below to where you can find tonic craft kit and everything else in tonic check out the description box and all the links will be there so that's it from me for today thank you so much for stopping by and i will see you all very soon take care bye